Imagine that you have 50 invoices sitting in your inbox and you need to get all of those invoice details into Microsoft Excel. Now, of course, you could copy and paste every single one manually, <laughs> but that sounds really painful. Good luck with that. Actually, I partnered with UiPath to show you a game-changing new AI app that can do all of that repetitive and boring copying and pasting for you. That way, you could focus on the things that matter more to you. In my case, that's baking cookies. Best of all, this is completely free. It requires no coding, and it's also simple to install. There's a reason this was recognized by Time Magazine as one of the most innovative products for productivity in 2023. All right, well, let's check this out. To get Clipboard AI, head to the following website. You could click on the card in the top right-hand corner, or I've also included a link down below in the description. Once you land on this website, simply type in your email address and then click on download. On this next page, click on the download button and then run through the download and the install process. Here on my computer, I have an invoice from a vendor that we need to pay. But to do that, I need to get all of these invoice details into Microsoft Excel. Now, normally I would probably just copy and paste the data, but I can't even do that. This is a JPEG image. And also if we look in the bottom right hand corner, some of this data is just penciled in. We had to make a last minute addition of sprinkles. Now, let's see if maybe the Clipboard AI can help me with this. Now that I've installed it, up on top of my screen, I'll hover over here and this exposes the Clipboard AI. And right here, I have the option to copy this window. Let's click on that. When I click on copy window, it's currently analyzing this invoice. Let's now go over to Microsoft Excel. Here I am now in Microsoft Excel, and I want to get all of those invoice details into my worksheet. Right up on top, I'll hover over the Clipboard AI again, and here I see the option to paste in Excel. Now, keep in mind, you could also paste into any other application. I just happen to be using Excel for all of my invoice tracking. Right up here, I'll click on Paste in Excel. And wow, look at that. Here, it's able to successfully extract all of those details from the invoice. Here, I have all of the top level information, and here, I also have all of the different line items on this invoice. But what I'm really curious about is there are also those handwritten items on the invoice. So let me go over here to see if it successfully picked that up. And yep, it looks like it nailed it. 8887.53, that was the total amount. That's really impressive. Now, I got all of the details into Excel, but I also have a specific way that I track all of the different invoices. And for that, I'll click into my invoices sheet. I use the invoices worksheet to track all of the different invoices that I need to pay here at the Kevin Cookie Company. As you can tell here, I have a specific format that I like to follow. Now, I need to get all of those different invoice details directly into this table. So let's see if maybe the Clipboard AI can help me with this. I'll click into row number 11, and then I'll go back up to the top, and here's the option to paste in Excel. Let's click on that. Whoa, and check that out. It correctly understands what all the different data on the invoice is, and it pastes it into the correct column. Now, I don't know how to describe this other than saying, it really seems like magic. Now, imagine that you're processing many different documents like this every single week. You could just imagine that the time savings really start to add up. Here I am now in my inbox, and it looks like I received another invoice, but this time it's all text-based. I'd like to see if Clipboard AI can get this into Excel. I'll go back up to the top, and there I have the option to copy the window. When I hover over, you'll also see that there's a shortcut key, Control-Alt-C. So let's test that out. I'll press that, and it copies all of the data to my Clipboard AI. Here I am now back in my invoice tracking table. I'll go right up to the top to the Clipboard AI, and here I can paste in Excel. When I hover over, you'll see that the shortcut key is Control-Alt-V, a really nice and convenient shortcut key. I'll press Control-Alt-V. And just like before, it pastes in all of the data into the correct column. So as you can see, whether you have, let's just say text or an image or maybe a PDF, whatever content you happen to have, you can copy and extract that data and then bring it to another application. In this case, Microsoft Excel.
If for whatever reason, maybe the data is not mapping exactly right, or maybe you want to format the data in a different way, right on top, you can click on the Clipboard AI, and then we'll click on this drop down, and you have the option to paste with Mapper. When you click on that, that opens up the mapper, and here we can see all the different entities or data that it identified in that email message. Now, right over here, let's say, for example, that you want to format the date in a different format. Maybe you just want to show the year. Over here, I can click on this transform value icon, and let's just say I want to only see the year. I'll type that in. Here, it now takes that date and it transforms it to just show the year. And what's really neat is you can transform simply by typing. It really couldn't be any easier. However, I want to show the full date. So over here, I'll click on remove for the transformation and that returns it to what it was previously. I don't need to make any changes because it successfully pasted all this data. So up on top, I'll close out of this view. Now that I have all of the invoices in my Excel tracking table, and all of these invoices look good. I think we're ready to pay them. Now I need to send it off to our payables department. And of course, they use a different tool. Over here, I'll highlight all of this data and right up on top, let's click on copy all of these cells. Next, I'll go to our payment form. Here I am now in the payables department form. And it looks like for them to pay an invoice, they need the vendor name, the invoice number, the due date, and also the total due. You know, the last thing I want to have to do is to copy and paste all of those different individual cells into this form. So right up on top, I have my clipboard AI. And here I have the option to paste in this form. Let's try clicking on that. Wow, and look at that. It automatically pastes in all of the data into the correct fields on the form. And right down below, I can now click on submit. And over here, let's submit another response. And it looks like we're now on cookie jar supplies. So I could paste in all of this data. And here it's going to go through and match all of the data with all of the different fields on the form. And here it looks like it put in the vendor name, the number, the due date, and the total due. That looks great. I'll submit that. And now I can move on to the next vendor here that we have to pay. And I could go through all the different vendors and submit all the information. That is so much easier than needing to manually copy and paste all the different data into this form. This will make my life so much easier. Now that I've paid all of my vendors, let's take a look at some of these settings that you can configure. Within Clipboard AI, over here, I'll click on this icon. This drops us in the profile view. And right here, you'll see that you can use it for 100 copy and paste actions. To get more, all you need to do is sign in with a free account. Over on the left-hand side, you also have some general settings. You can also configure the shortcut keys. Maybe you prefer a different key combination. And over on the left-hand side, you can also provide feedback. Remember, this is in public preview. Right here, you can rate your experience and you can also give feedback to the team so they can improve the product. And there you have it. No more being stuck in copy and paste purgatory. Let me know what you think of this app down below in the comments. Do you think this will help you save time? To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video.